Let me guess, Liv, what, she just convinced you to disclose, is that it? No, she convinced me to forgive myself. My mom had this vase, so it wasn't expensive, but she really loved it, and he threw it at her. It shattered into a million pieces. I just feel like I'm letting everybody down. She'll go back to Atlanta and she'll pretend like nothing ever happened. Just like you did. I'll pretend long enough after a while. It's like nothing did happen. And I lay down on the bed. And he was drunk. Grabbing at me and pulling off my clothes. And I asked him to slow down. I've been led in half myself for more than half. I'm not talking about me and Patton. Well, nothing really happened anyway. Wake up. Because I've never been this open, honest in a relationship. You fired the bullet that killed Esther Labot. Either way. And I tried to get up. But he said, Amanda, you know I don't take no for an answer. It looks like it. And my wrist above my head. I'm just trying to. And he told me I wasn't going anywhere. And no one would believe me anyway. Someone else is I. I give up. So show me what to do to restart this heart. I walked into it. You know, I put myself into that position. You gotta stop blaming yourself. I'm so sorry for what I put y'all through. No, Amanda. I'm sorry for what you put yourself through. Oh, Captain, Captain Cragen. Excuse me? I'm Detective Amanda Rollins. You interviewed me last month. Roll up your sleeves. We just come pick up the pieces after the damage is done, right? There's a change. I thought you were nice. Which meant not the guy for me, I can't handle nice. Just us. <laughs> So careless with my life. Now I got two little girls. I'm terrified. They're gonna grow up the same way. You know, feeling like they don't deserve to be happy. I let my guard down. I just let myself be happy for once. And this is what happens. Postpone joy.